All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 3. Okay, it is running. Okay. Last episode, we dealt with a Cerberus raid on the Citadel. And so I was just doing a bunch of quests on the Citadel and had to stop because my blood sugar was starting to mess with me. So that's why I can't really play more for more than like an hour at a time. Because when I sit still long enough, my blood sugar starts go going a little out of whack, so... Oh, well, you can resuscitate fallen squad mates without metagel just by being at their position. I didn't know that. Of course, I never need to, so... What are we doing here? Um, the Batarian codes. That's what we're doing. We need to go to Normandy's docking bay. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low gravity planet, toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant Ormby? No, Private. We are not. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes, and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Okay. And it should be... There. The docks. The holding area. Ashley, I think, meets us later. Status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. The galaxy needs to understand what these refugees have been through. Can't you let me in? No. I only need a couple of hours of footage. You're not crossing that dock. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vas, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. I think we might need a different subject. Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. I'm sorry, but that's not quite what I had in mind. Thank you, human. We will hold it to the 
pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> with someone on Aratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher a colony, only regret... <laughs> Don't have the strength to... <sighs> so you just started murdering people. How many did you murder? Don't pretend your hands are clean, you... <laughs> No one here would even be alive if I hadn't destroyed that relay. Yeah, that's I true. Months taking heat for Aratot from both the Alliance and the Batarians. And you know what? If it saved the entire galaxy, I can live with that just fine. Then why don't you... <laughs> then why don't you get rid of another Batarian for your precious galaxy? <laughs> Shut down this machine. I'm done here. Good. He'll cough himself to death without a sedative. No! Wait! I... Oh. Just take it easy. There. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Your purchases are accredited to hegemony. Gruesome account. Okay. Dammit, I'm telling you, someone sabotaged the medical dispensers. No, if I knew who, I'd have had them arrested. It doesn't matter. Hey, there's Kelly. You saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then, one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. Krogan leader Nymax stated that his support of the Turians proves that the Krogan are ready to return to the Citadel. There's one of the, um... There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. There's one of the Metagel dispensers I just did. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Arya. There's another one. Mm-hmm. I believe those are my credits. Listen, please, we just need more food. I can use the location of some ruins. Prothean ruins on Gay Hinnom in the Hades Nexus. If you can get past the mm hmm I believe those are my credits. That's got to be worth something. I believe that's all of them, isn't it? I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. I wish we could have found the bastard responsible for the sabotage. But this is going to save a lot of lives. Thank you. Okay. About time. We'll deal with the console. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. 
I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. The Batarians made enemies throughout the galaxy. And now you've paid the price for it. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I can't save my people. But I can end you. You're not going to pull that trigger. You know what I'm doing out here. Yes. Forging alliances with the Turians, the Krogan. Killing you will tear all the other races apart. And then the Reapers wipe out the last of your warships. The last of your people. And you know that. That's why you'll join us. We're all you have left. I could kill you. I could do it right now. Ah! Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Alright. So we got that dealt with. Are you kidding me? So now we got the um, Batarian fleet as an asset. Son of a bitch. Excellent. That will really get people's attention. Thank you, Commander. That should be the footage. Come meet me again when you're able. Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are a lion's property. Have a little faith, loco. I have a little. <laughs> About time. What are you doing here? I'm waiting. Waiting? Waiting for who? Oh, for my parents. They put me on the rescue transport and said to wait for them here. They'll come find me as soon as they can. So those attempts to take control of the city. I guess this is your safe And CSEC forces have killed the last invader. If anyone bothers you, let me know. I'll take care of them, okay? Sure thing, sir. Thanks. Oh, okay. That's everything down here, I think. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. All right, and we leveled up. Look at that. Okay, so I think that's everything. You're on the Citadel. Yes, it is. So we can go ahead and get out of here. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. We can go do and do some more exploring. It looks like, and we'll do another mission, or two, or three, however many we find. Arriving at docking bay D twenty four. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? They're a problem. I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. Oh, I thought that was going to be another... I had a friend in security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean Tech on Garbug. I know the Valhallen Threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean Tech could help the cruise. Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an unsecured channel. So, oh, there's Ashley. I thought she was here. Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. 
I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Damn right. I'm taking all the team this time. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I don't care who he is. Next time we meet, he dies. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari Counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. Cerberus, Reapers, they'll all pay for this war. One way or another. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. All right, so we're going to get ready to deal with the Quarians. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Okay. Let's take a look at the war terminal just for the heck of it. See, look at that. We've got all the strength we need. We could get to the end now if we wanted to. But, nah, I'm, I'm going to do everything that I can, so... Bastards. And Udina, too. Son of a bitch. That's crap. Udina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, i found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. Perhaps. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. 
Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now... I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? Yes. I was visiting my family during a university holiday. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Okay. See if we got anything. Okay. Oh, Trainer wants to play, um... What's to play chess? We'll see about doing that. Um, defecting Cerberus engineers. So Kelly's like, oh, there's some engineers that want to join you. Diana wants to, um, wants to come up and do an interview, so we'll do that. Jack wants to meet at Purgatory, which we already did. Um, Victus. Victus wants to have us do an investigation because he thinks uh, one of his guys is working for Cerberus. Um, James wants uh, to meet up. Um, Admiral Hackett sends a dossier on Kai Lang. And he is, Admiral Hackett has also ordered us to take a little shore leave. We'll do that later. The shore leave later. We want to get all the all the team first. But first we're going to go down and talk to everyone, see what everyone has to say. There's Garrus. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it. Could you have pulled the trigger? If they hadn't backed down? Yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Still, I'm glad Ash didn't have to join Caden. Losing one was enough. Hey, Shepard's right, man. Shepard's right. Good to see you. See what Liara has to say. I think we might have um, an upgrade too. We'll have to look. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Yep, I thought we had an upgrade. We can do power or health. We're gonna do power this time. An audio recording from Counselor Gajur's office, Senate office. I'll let you pause and read this. Um, you know, like I said, I'm I'm just not fast enough to read. I I can't I can't read aloud very fast. So. Thanks for coming by. Greetings, Commander. 
So that's why I'm just gonna let you all um, pause and read everything. So let's see what Javik has to say. If he has anything to say, I don't think he will, but you never know. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others will be tolerated. Damn right, Javik. You, you and I think alike. You and I think alike, Javik. <laughs> There's Steve, what's he gotta say? You know, next time we're at the Citadel, I think I might hit a nightclub. You should join me. Hey, Commander. I knew Odina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Hey there. Alright, we're gonna go up to our cabin so we can deal with the three that want to meet us, so... Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. That's true. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. 
The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Tonight. Damn right. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. Sausage fast! On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What'd you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? I'm a soldier, Vega. And I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well... Even all the shit that's going on, somebody, somewhere, managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collectorship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. <laughs>
Dude, why is a fish swimming out of the freaking tank? I don't understand. That's gotta be a glitch. That's gotta be a glitch. All right, so now we can move move on. See about getting some stuff from the galaxy and. Oh, she wants Dr. Chakwas wants to talk to us down in the med bay. Okay. May I speak with you? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. All right. We'll see about doing that later. Because we need to move on. We really do. Because you don't want to watch me go back to the Citadel and do all that, you know? Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on VidCom. Nah, fuck him. He don't, we don't need nothing from him. Oh, we need to talk to Edie and Joker. See if they got anything to say. will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? What? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. Go easy on Ash. She's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. Nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Asshole. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunka was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Gep. And the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so for doing all the dialogue, you get to unlock the powers. That you wouldn't normally learn. We're gonna check around to see what all's here. Um, looks like we can come here for something. Okay. Evasion successful. All right. Let's see what we get here. There's one. Sorry, engineers. We'll take those. We'll take the wreckage. Definitely. Bye bye. So long. Uh, sayonara, suckers. I found something. We found the wreckage. We found that first. Ought to be over here. There we go. Sayonara, suckers. Signal confirmed. Yeah, right. We'll take all these assets. Evasion successful. Nothing. Nothing. Reapers eluded. There it is. I knew it had to be somewhere. I knew it had to be somewhere. Dinara, suckers. Successful. There we go, we got a statue. Evasion successful. There it is. We found it. We found it. We come over here. Grab the units of fuel we want it all. Dianara, suckers! We'll fill up fuel.
Signal confirmed. There it is. There we go. Another cruiser. Damn right. Okay, let me let me look at the journal. Hades Nexus. We need to go to Hades Nexus. Can we go to Hades Nexus? Hades Gamma. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. So... We'll deal with the scientists real quick. Here we go. We'll bring Ashley out because we need to get her set up. She is a shield 25, huh? All right. We'll go Liara. We'll, we'll do a girl's day out maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Need a piercing mod for you. There we go. Piercing mod. There we go. All right. Warp ammo. We're going to max this. There we go. Get your grenades, radius, damage. We'll do radius and sh shrapnel. Hell yeah. We'll get you to three for now. Three for now. Three for now. We'll do rate of fire. Duration. And we'll go accuracy and fire rate. Okay. 
And then we'll upgrade Disruptor. There we go. Warp ammo for you. Okay. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Our intel is minimal. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Jacob got shot! I can see why Cerberus abandoned this place. Pretty damn chilly. Alright, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? We can't hold them much longer! Push! Push forward! Maybe we can flank these guys! Watch for it! We are up! We'll do! All clear. Any civilians left? Are you all right? Come in. Okay, so I want to check over there for um, items because you never know. They they could have items hidden around here somewhere. Okay, they don't have items over here. That sucks. But, you know, I still wanted to look. I, I just wanted to look because you never know. They could have, like, a gun or something hidden over here. Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob! Oh my god! Uh, I'm alright. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh... Sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. 
Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Thanks, and you as well. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agree. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Okay. You know this guy, Jacob? More ex Cerberus? So sorry. He worked with me to stop the collectors. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Okay. Dr. Archer! Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer. We met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. We'll take that magazine upgrade. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. 
My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? Forty-three, plus research assistants. How did you maintain secrecy with that many? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? That just upped the ante. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Shep, I'm in here. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. What? How long have you known Brit? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Okay, credits, another data pad. I 
not willing to die to save this data. Let me. I'll purge it and meet you at the shuttle bay. Look, let's just I don't want to die. Out of your go! Life. Just go. No, no. I'm okay. Let's just do this. These civilians had no hope of coming out of this alive. Badly equipped, guns offline. It would have been a massacre. Yeah, it probably would have been. Yeah, I... There, up ahead. Okay, hang on a sec. Let me... Okay. Open you. Jacob, who are you? Affirmative. But the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. More enemies in our path. That's how you take care of somebody in a turret. Get up there and activate those AA guns manually. There's the first gun. The other gun is still down. Let's get over there. We'll take those credits. I wanted those. Failure at junction. Repair and reset. Okay. One of us has to make these repairs. We are. I need you to fix this. You got it. Ready, Ash? Just you and me. You bet, Shepard. You know what? I'm getting on that gun. I need more time.
Ah, we took down that son of a bitch. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Okay. The guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Alright, everyone here head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here! These boys don't give up, do they? the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up and get out to the landing pad. Right behind you. Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. We'll do. Here we go. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Shield generator. Settle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer.
Do we go back in? That was the last of the civilians. Shepard, heads up! The place is overrun! We gotta go! Head to you with the shuttle! Understood. Heads up! Mech on the field! Jacob, head tight! Clear your landing zone! Bastard. Jacob, landing area cleared. This place is crawling. Bring the shuttle to you. Roger that. Here we go. <laughs> Again, hey eh, Shepard. Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive, but because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you, Doctor Cole. I have a request, one you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt, I'm at your service, and I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit-and-runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. More Reapers in one place just makes them easier to kill. Leave it to you to make a full-scale Reaper invasion sound like a good thing. I just want to end them. Forever. You and me both. 
Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. All right, well, I'm going to call for this video. So, hope you all had fun in this episode. I did. I mean, I know it was boring me looking for stuff and making sure I got everything. So, I'll see you all in the next episode.